from my pillow and could see the bus just right here. North Vancouver resident Stephen Andrews never expected to get off a bus looking like this. However, early Sunday morning, October 17th, Andrews was assaulted by four men on the number 228 bus to Lynn Valley, sustaining serious injuries. I was basically pinned to the back of the bus and the seat, and then it was just kind of covering up because there were four guys just going psh, 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 kicking and all kinds. North Vancouver RCMP confirmed the incident did happen. One man was arrested with charges pending. But for Andrews, he wonders if anything can be done to improve the security on public transit. Like, there were no cameras on the bus, which, I mean, wouldn't stop anything at the time, but at least in, you know, future identification and, you know, investigating cases, I think that would be a big step in helping to identify. And others agree. Definitely need more security at nights. I don't feel as safe, I guess, I don't know. But like with the cameras and everything on the bus and everything, that's not really going to help. I'm not really uh, have very much confidence in my safety ride in transit. Um, I got off just at Ridgeway, but it happened way back at Lonsdale. But Andrews is also looking for someone to take responsibility for what could be thousands of dollars in dental bills. Uh, I got two teeth knocked out right there. <laughs> if I get implants, that'll be about two or three thousand dollars each. So. The Coast Mountain Bus Company says assaults are rare. They happen less than 1% of the time. But they are implementing new safety changes in the future. Uh, into 2011, we are going to retrofit any bus that's 2006 or newer with cameras. So that's about 690 buses. For now, Andrews is thinking of pursuing legal action and is hesitant to ride the bus late at night. Tessa Humphreys in North Vancouver for BCIT Magazine.